So the best of the rest, I, know, really I should good. have said. And also, I just wanted to show how, if you have, if you don't want to invest in a new lipstick, everyone's got a red lipstick at home. I wanted to show you how you can do an everlasting kind of lipstick at home. So what the best thing to do is prep and prime your lips, especially this time of year. So how do you do that? So I always give my lips a little bit of a scrub and then wipe it off and then a little bit of lip balm. Before you apply any lip liner, just blot off your lip balm a little bit. So, is there any particular lip balm? Because you don't want it too glossy. I always go for a beeswax one or a yeah. sheer butter, so it's not too shiny, but it really moisturises. Okay. Now, what I like to do is, as you can see so here... So, this is Millie. Time, Hello, this Millie. is Millie. Lovely Millie. Mm -hmm. um, I, for time, I've already slightly pencilled in with a liner. Yes. OK, but what I want to show you is the Cupid's bow. Now, a lot of people don't know how to do this or get a bit muddly. Try and do a little cross at the top. This will give you a really oh, good instant Cupid's bow. And then just fill that Look in. That. The best thing to do is, with a lip liner, ever so gently, just fill in all of the lip And then area. you do that. You can do that, but just make sure you don't get a harsh line. Because I yeah. find with that one, that's really annoying. And then when you drink, then you're left yeah. with that line, which is really irritating. So really fill it in. That will help the lipstick last. This is a beautiful lipstick from Revlon. It's a limited edition from Valentine's Day, but it smells of roses. What kind of strawberry roses? Oh, that's lovely. It's really nice, isn't it? So I'm going it to apply like this. old fashioned lipstick your mum used to wear. Gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? Quite like it. So what I'm going to do is just apply this, and I'm going in with a brush, just because with a brush, I think you can really get into the lips and really kind of go really thoroughly into any creases or anything like that. My mm. mum still applies her lipstick every time with a brush. Do you do blotting and then a double layer? See, that's what I'm going to do now. Oh, but right, I've sorry, got a little no, brushing no, ahead, sorry. no, not at all. So do that. Just moist here for me. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tissue. Yeah. Now, split the tissue in half so it's kind of slightly see-through. Oh, OK. OK, then take a tiny bit of translucent powder mm -hmm. and just place that over your lips like that. And then just a little bit of powder, just do a little blotting. So I have never, like... ever seen that before, ever. Have you not? Never. This is basically like setting your lipstick, OK? All I've and ever then... seen is blotting. Have you ever seen mm. that with the powder? You no. can do that, but I feel it's exactly like your normal makeup. So you're basically just setting your your lipstick and then go in again with a little bit more over the top and that should make it last. That is fantastic. This looks really Let's pretty. get Tommy in because lovely Tommy. Tommy come over here. Now these are not necessarily lasting lipsticks. Just just thought, we'll give it, we just thought just Millie give should. Just shirt test. <laughs> just give him a little kiss. <laughs> Oh, not bad. Well, it's not too bad. Have you, have you enjoyed your morning, Tommy? Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, you'll give you some wipes to get rid of all that lipstick. Oh, I, thought I was to kiss him then. Of course, of course you can. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's all your Thank red you so lipstick much. for Valentine's Day. I love that um, tissue oh, and powder good. thing, yeah. <laughs>